welcome back. <clears throat> this is part four of using the inspector to create a mock-up and wireframe in Figma. Okay, so this is part four. In part three, we left off at um, how this desktop frame displays and is a very close representation of how something will display um, when you've designed it in the way that we've been designing it in this tutorial so far. So we want to get a realistic, our goal is to get a realistic um, visual design of a desktop screen for LinkedIn Trees, for Linktree's website. Okay, And we did that, we pressed the play button and we saw. Um, we're going to continue in this kind of like this top intro section of their page. Okay, so if we take another look at it, um, if the screen is completely, uh, if the screen is completely expanded, this is kind of what it looks like. Okay, it has a green up here, the whole page is solid green, and then it has this nav bar. We don't know anything yet other than this visual design because we don't know whether you know, this nav bar stays here or it scrolls with the page. We don't know any of that it's because right now we're just designing a mock-up, which is a static flat representation of um, something, of a UI, of, of a software digital UI or anything really. Um, but we're trying to get as close as possible to, you know, making it look like this right now. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and I'm also going to make the background color of it this primary green. And I'm going to deselect everything and I'm actually going to delete this style because I don't want it anymore. Okay. Actually right click and then delete, delete style. So we don't need that because that was for an example for something else. So now we're in here and we're looking and we're like, oh, um, we need to make the nav bar. So let's go and look at the nav bar, okay? So in the inspector, we're gonna right click and I'm gonna click inspect and I'm going to highlight this little navigation bar here. And it tells me that it is 1201 uh, pixels wide by 88 pixels tall. So Again, if you're designing, it's good to use these dimensions because they're a close representation of, you know, probably the closest representation as a non-developer, a design, a designer non-developer will be able to get to developer. Um, so I'm going to make everything for purposes of this tutorial, this playlist. Um, most of the time, I'm going to make them these dimensions, the ones that show up in the, the kind of summary box of the element. Okay, so I'm going to go into Figma and I'm going to create a um, rectangle. Okay, so out here, actually, I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to use this tool. You can also do Command R, but I'm going to create a rectangle, click and drag, and then I'm going to change the dimensions over here in the sidebar, and I'm just going to do 1200 pixels, not the 1201, um, and 88 pixels. Okay, so now we have that. Then I'm going to inspect it again once more, and I'm going to find the border radius property. That is a CSS property, border radius, and the border radius is 10,000 pixels. <laughs> so we're going to do that. We're going to make it 10,000 pixels. And the way you do that is you select the element, you come over here, and I'm going to say one, one, two, three, four, enter and it is 10,000 pixels. So that is how it's coded. And then if we look again, we select it. We can see over here, the background color of it is white. Okay. Let me get out of that. Background color is white. So I'm actually gonna come over here. I'm gonna change this to white. Shortcut um, hex code is FFF, enter. And then I'm going to click on our little styles and I'm gonna make one for white. Okay. What's it for? 
for anything, any web element that needs to be white. Great style. And then I'm also going to command D is what I did and made a duplicate of this thing and then I drug it up. Okay. I'm also going to make a, I'm going to break the link of the current style and I'm going to make a solid black color. Okay. Um, zero, 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 enter, solid black. Okay. And then I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come over here to our styles, plus sign, black. For anything that needs to be black. What did I say? Web element. Solid. Full. Black. Well, actually, let me command A, command C. Click off, create style. And then I'm going to come over here, right click, right click, nope, click on it, right click, edit style, paste, solid, full, white. Just like for things to be consistent. Okay, so there we go. Anything that needs to be solid for white, anything that needs to be solid for black. Okay, so I'm going to delete that because we have the color bubbles. See? Okay. And I'm going to continue creating this kind of nav bar. So let's go and see. Okay. Does this nav bar have any shadow? Let's click on it. Um, it doesn't have a shadow, but it does have a border color. So, border width is one pixel. Click on this, and we're going to say stroke, and it's one pixel. And then, since it tells us it's black with uh, eight opacity, all I have to do is change the opacity. Okay. So now, if we look, it is that same border color, 8% opacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to create a style. And I'm going to say border uh, opaque border. Okay. Opaque 8%. Mm. Right, numbers first, eight percent opaque border. All black, one pixel border with eight percent opacity. Create style, and there we have it. So again, get in the habit of creating styles in Figma because it helps everyone. You as the designer and the developers, clients, everyone. It's really important when you're working in UI, UX, or web development that people be on the same page, that people, you know, understand things. Even if you have to say it a little bit differently, but you're on the same page. Really important in getting a project done efficiently, effectively and efficiently. Okay. So now this is looking more realistic like this.